Hi, welcome back to the Dylan Rounds case. I just wanted to talk about something that hasn't really been talked about before within the case when you piece it all together, okay? And it's to do with Chase Venstra, the lie detector test, and the law enforcement, how it's all arranged. It just doesn't make sense, okay? I'm going to explain it to you right now, so make sure you're focused and listening, right? So, from the start, Chase Venstra was kind of caught up in it, right? Because Dylan picked him up. So, he was one of the last few to see Dylan before going missing. So, you could say Chase Venstra was a person of interest or some kind of witness. And yet, as time evolved and we came out with different theories and understandings, Candice Cooley came out on the East Idaho News Channel, I think it was the third one, and basically said that Chase Venstra isn't a part of the investigation. The LE never saw him as a suspect. And it's like, oh, one expecting that. And yet, in recent time, Chase Venstra, along with Jim Brenner, took a polygraph test and both failed. So, if Chase Venstra was never a part of the investigation, then why did he do a polygraph test in association questions about Dylan Rounds? Makes no sense, does it? And on top of that, with Chase Venstra lying, it then makes you think, well, so he wasn't a part of it from the beginning, and that's how the police saw it. They didn't see him as dodgy, suspicious or criminal or involved. And yet, clearly, Venstra must know something to fail the test. So what's he regarded now? A person of interest or not? Yes, he might be in custody or in a jail at the moment, but that's separate charges, like with Jim Brenner. Gun charges, unrelated. So... That's what's kind of weird. It kind of makes me think that I wouldn't be surprised if the LE knew Chase Venstra was tied to it in some way, but they wanted to keep him separate to try and keep him safe. And that's why they said, oh, he's never a part of the investigation. And then over time, through dragging things out, possibly, they had no choice but to do a polygraph test. And then Venstra was caught out in the end. Leave your thoughts down below, but, you know, it just seems like another failure by the LE or maybe some kind of corruption going on. Hmm.